What's up guys, Framentor here, Captain Negativity with everything that has to do with WoW. And this is the fourth time I'm trying to make this video because first time I did it, the microphone wasn't on. Second time I did, I didn't hit record. And third time I did, I for some reason could not, like I just was stuttering like crazy, probably because I was pissed off about the first two tries. So here we are again, trying to make this video. Anyways, this video, finally that we are done with Torgas stuff, like the Torgas mods that I had in mind, uh, as far as like features and stuff like that. Let's talk about Mythic Plus. Now, this doesn't have to be specifically a redesign for Mythic Plus. Maybe it would just be a special Mythic Plus you can do or something similar to a Mythic Plus. I don't know how you want to play about. I don't think replacing Mythic Plus as a whole as a system is the best uh, way to go about it. But this would be a cool thing that is very similar to Mythic Plus. And all this mode is, is that you don't have a specific key to a specific dungeon. You just queue into the dungeon with your group by right-clicking the key that you have. Everyone accepts, the queue pops, the, you know, that little window pops, except you go into, once everyone is in, 10 seconds timer comes up and you start the run. You cannot determine which dungeon you're getting. And... Even more than that, you cannot determine anything about this dungeon, right? Maybe affixes, but we're going to talk about that a bit later. Basically, the premise of this run is basically you start a random dungeon, you kill the first boss, you kill the first boss, you teleport to a different dungeon, and you do the pathing to the second boss of said dungeon, okay? You kill the second boss, you do the pathing to the third boss, to, of said dungeon and then you you kill it you teleport again to a different dungeon and you do the fourth boss there with the trash and stuff like that or basically the last boss of each dungeon right so for example uh let's take ruby uh life pools okay so there's what three bosses in there so technically with this scenario the three bosses there won't really work well, however, you can always just make it a random boss. You don't. It doesn't always have to be like the first boss is always the first boss of some dungeon. The second boss is always second dun boss of some dungeon. You can just start. Eh, fuck it. We are starting in the middle of Ruby Life Pools. We're doing the route for the second boss. We kill the second boss, and then we go into Brackenhide Hollow, and we start with doing the first boss of Brackenhide Hollow and the routing. Okay, this will be pretty hard to balance time wise, but I'm sure like. You can just make a standard time for all of them and depending on like the combinations that are possible because it's never going to be like completely random. There'll be like a combination of dungeons possible that you would get. Uh, hopefully there would be enough combinations to where you're not sure what the next uh, boss would be, right? So then you don't get like, you know, pathing to the second boss of Ruby Life Pools and pathing to the first boss of Breckenhide Hollow and that's like way too much fucking trash, right? And then you get dungeons that are like, have almost no trash and it's like, well, you just go to the boss, right? Stuff like that. So balancing this out obviously is gonna be hell. I get it. Again, this is all for fun and games and, you know, trying to make things interesting. Anyway, so you kill the first boss, teleport, kill the second boss, da 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 da. Okay, all that stuff. Now, this is something I am not too sure. I would love it if you would also get different affixes per area. So for the first boss area, you would get, let's say, quaking, raging, thundering, right? Because you're doing, uh, what's it called? Because you're doing like over a plus 10. And let's say this is tyrannical week. So tyrannical and thundering, let's say, will never change. Okay. And then, but the other two affixes for the plus four and plus seven, they would change based on the zone. Zone one would have, let's say, two affixes. Then zone two would have two other affixes. Zone three would have two other affixes. Okay. So this randomization would also be pretty cool and it's like you can't really like you know you have to deal with shit on the fly which i think is a lot more fun um i mean the affixes themselves are not fun don't get me wrong i don't like the affixes but the scenario of randomness about it is pretty fun in my opinion okay um make it so that you can't just skip uh trash packs i personally don't like trash packs but i understand you need them i don't like the percentage system but i get that people like him. Blizzard likes the percentage system. So what you're going to do is with the percentage system is basically 
instead of counting percentage you remove that but you will need to kill a certain amount of mobs just in order to activate the boss room so it's like you can't get to the boss room until you killed these mobs like they you know similar to like knockout offensive where you have to kill the three ballistas areas and you have to kill then for the second boss the lightning totems and for the third boss you have to kill those like necromancers on those mini hills right so make a similar mechanic to the dungeons uh in order to activate the next boss similar to like court of stars the uh second boss you have to kill like the mini bosses otherwise it's just not doable all that stuff right so you can just do stuff like that uh instead of percentage just mandatory you need to kill these guys in order to do the boss and that's fine um and then once you're done with that the reward is basically similar to how you get the weekly vault you're just gonna get you know you open a vault you get uh the items uh, you have like a few options to choose from, either items that you might not need or currency. Ideally, look, in my opinion, loot should just be all currency and you can just target. But I get it. Some people are like, oh, that's, you know, you just want loot easily for not doing work. I don't know how that argument even makes sense, but whatever. Let's say it makes sense. Okay. Currency or items. That's what you can get. Okay. For your run. And like, and the choice of items. Now, again, I know some people are like, well, five items out of the run is too lucrative. I don't think so. I think everyone who puts in the effort to do a dungeon should get rewarded. That's just my opinion. But hey, you know, we can argue about that one for days. The reward system, in my opinion, doesn't matter too much as much as the system itself, like how the dungeon is played. I call it the twisted twisted mythic plus run okay and i feel like that would be a lot more interesting you cannot cheese let's say burial grounds for to get your higher keys you actually have to know a lot more stuff in order to do the keys properly failing is fine it's like it's like yeah you will fail a lot more with this because you can't just perfect yourself for one dungeon there's a bigger learning curve but i feel like this would be a very very interesting um mythic plus situation that you can do mythic plus um scenario mythic plus run type right but yeah anyways that's the idea leave a comment uh, you know leave a comment down below tell me what you think about this idea i feel like this would be a very cool upgrade or a side way to do mythic pluses maybe it should have honestly it doesn't even have to be a mythic plus for gear it can be mythic plus challenges for like cosmetic stuff you can unlock it once you get keystone master for example you know things like that this doesn't have to be like a replacement for loot it can be anything you want it to be regarding the rewards but i feel like that this type of mythic plus run would be a lot more entertaining than just like knowing exactly what you get yourself into and things like that anyways thank you for watching leave a comment subscribe all that youtube stuff whatever and i'll see you in the next one with my next brilliant idea thank you for watching take care